everybody, it's Doom here, and today we are going to be unboxing the 2021 version of Rosemary. Now, before I actually start the video, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Glow the Events Store for giving her to us. I am so happy that they did because I really love this prop, and I cannot wait to unbox it. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, now the first thing I see when I open this box is actually the instructions. Um, so it's made by Techie, that's the company that makes this girl. And uh, there we have Rosemary, which is a super cool font as well. I like the way that they did that. And there's a picture of her, but I will be putting these aside and following them along during the setup. All right, so the next thing I see in here is the adapter right here. Um, which we will be using to plug her in, obviously. Next, we have some pieces of the base. Very similar to like a jumping spider base. Um, plastic, not metal. Um, so yeah. All right, now next thing I see in here is a piece of the mechanism, I believe. And here we go, and it is indeed a piece of the mechanism um so i believe that this is kind of like the base and this is what makes her jump forward at the end of her activation which is really cool and also the control box of course consisting of batteries and an on option and foot pad option so on is a uh, sound activated just an fyi all right now next thing i see in here some poles for her body. I believe that this is part of like the lunging mech right here. So that is pole D and pole E. All right, and last but certainly not least, the part we've all been waiting for is the actual head. So let's get that out of here. All right, here we go. Here's her entire body which I will untie right away here. And here we go. There she is. And she is looking awesome. Uh, one thing I do notice though, is that she is missing a little chip. Like looks like a chip of latex came off or maybe even spilled over. I don't know how it really works, but there is definitely something missing there. But that pro can probably be fixed with some like black acrylic paint and white acrylic paint, um, just to make it look a bit better. Um, but yeah, that is a little bit strange, but um, it's really no big deal. I can fix that up really easily, but here she is, and she's looking awesome. And at the bottom of the box, you can see that there are two weights. Um, I don't think, I probably will be using the weights, but I'll probably add a little bit extra weight just as an extra precaution so she doesn't tumble over. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to untie this. Anyway, here are the weights. Not too heavy, I'd say probably like uh, six, seven pounds. Um, and yeah, they're just filled, it's just plastic filled with sand. Um, so yeah, it should work quite nicely, but I will add a couple extra weights just in case. The box includes instructions, an adapter, some weights, three parts of the base, the control box and jump scare mech, two poles that make up the body, and Rosemary herself. All right, so first step, you take the control box and jump scare mechanism, and the three parts of the base right here, all labeled A, and attach them all to the bottom, so like you would for a jumping spider. Make sure all the sides snap on, and there you go. Then after that, you're also going to want to take the piece 
that has the weight and also attach it onto the back. There we go. Next, take this piece right here, labeled D and E, E being the top, D being the bottom. Or is it the other way around? Nope, it isn't. Um, and attach D to D, like so. And attach this C to C, like so. Just there we go, make sure it snaps on. Yep, and there we go. Next, take the pole labeled E and F and attach E to E, like so. There we go. Now, last but not least, we add on Rosemary herself. Just slide it on over like that. All right, guys, now it's time to plug her in. And there we go. guys there she was a 2021 version of rosemary zombie girl and she is just phenomenal I i'm just so glad that they brought her back and i think she looks awesome i do really love the red eyes i think it works well on her um and yeah i think it's really creepy um i do have some plans to maybe do a little bit of customization on her maybe add a bit more blood to those scars um i did buy some like uh, blood that I could add to the scars and maybe even the brain. But overall, even without extra blood, she is just absolutely phenomenal. I love the animation and I love the look too. And yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, Doom out.